Good morning and welcome back to another video. Sam Shut Farming, every other day life on the hill farm. We are currently at Bentham, aren't we Sheila? Um, it's, an, it's a yow sale, sheep sale, shearlings, gimme lambs, all sorts. It's like a mixture. And I would like to purchase some chiviots if they're good enough. I still have a little bit of money saved and I would like to try and buy some. We um, thought about it this morning, so we've set off. Yeah, so we'll see, we'll see. There is some nice ones in, but I know they'll make a fortune, so we'll see. We'll see. Fingers crossed I managed to get a few. For myself. Oliver has picked some out for the tuck, but in hindsight, they're the businesses. And I would like to get some for myself, so... Let's go and have a look. The the Scotches. Thank you, man. 
in your life, but 95 when the world will change, 95 when the good yells too, 92 will be too, 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 92 will be too, too, you know where they're from and they're young and all five, 95, 95 with a bike, hey, 98 bit, 98 bit, well it's up to you then boys, they call it up shit, but away they go, but 98 bit, 98 bit, 98 bit, 98 young shit, mine, but away mine, 98 old bit, 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 so it's that right. Top zone into vaccinated. Fuck back to 12. Only had one drop of land. Now I need an expert about you and these. Can you give me one for me? 80 me. Thank you, Adam, 80 me, 80 me, 80 me. 90, 100, 100. One hundred pound a bit, hundred bit, hundred pound a bit. Now they let me pick you up. Well, hundred bit, one hundred pound a bit, hundred bit, hundred pound a bit, one hundred, one hundred, one hundred pound a bit. I put it down on that mind. The young sheep, they're only one drop. But a hundred pound a piece, they all don't that mind. And away they go. Five, hundred, ten, hundred, ten, fifteen, hundred, twenty. Is that right, Eric? One twenty, one twenty bit, a hundred and twenty pound bit. Do that we all don't mind to go. A one twenty bit, a lot of here up the year, mind but away at one two zero.
Strong sheep they were. Sit down, Jim. We haven't. We're not actually on the road yet. We're just gonna load. But uh, I think they're worth it. Two hundred pound a year. I want it. Two hundred. Average one nine five. Average one nine five. So that's even better. Shearlings. Shearlings. Yeah. No, I've done really well there. The refraction. Flock dispersal. Flock dispersal. They were friend of. Used to be your uncle's friend. Anyway, so we'll get loaded up now. Oh, big step. You all right? Lad. Boy, hello. Good lad, you didn't cry, did you? Right, we need to find them. I think. Oh, are they over there? <clears throat> Here they Them. So some are a bit too. Well, I don't know. What are you looking at? Just having a look, close look at them. Cause I haven't really had a good look. I wonder what they look against yours. Aye, right, when they need dipping, don't they? So we'll do that this afternoon. Yeah, I'm very chuffed with them. There we are. Got them home. I am really chuffed with them. The guy we bought them off um, farms at Bentham, so it's very close to the auction mart. And he came up to me afterwards and he said, 
did you get the look? I said, yes, thank you, it was in the office. And then he said, um, Jimmy would be so proud of you. Oh, that brought a tear to my eye. Oh, like Jimmy's my uncle, um, who taught me everything I know, who um, I went to follow since I could walk. He's like a second dad. He's no longer with us, but it's the fact that he's remembered him. And he said he'd be proud of me, like, Oh, to think what I'd be thinking now. There we are. Right, we'll have some din-dins and then we'll sort them out. Sausage roll, dinner on the go. Right, we're doing up and sorting these sheep. Yay! Just bedding up everywhere. Sheila's fast asleep. Oh, my new sheep. Hi guys. I've got a plan for you guys. I've got a plan. Oh dear. Look at that. Dead as a knit. One of Peter's tough lambs. Chiviot tough lambs. Putting me off breeding them. <sighs> oh. <laughs> what are you drawing, Lily? Um, I draw like a truck. Like something like weird or something. Oh, very good. A truck. <laughs> so a calf escaped from here while we were feeding them. Slipped through that little bit there and out the door. So we're going to have to go and get it in. It's jumped the gate. So it should come back. It'll be alright. Be fine. Be fine. It ran up the road here. A car just like that. Spooked it jumped over here and it's run right up there so Oliver's going to have to go and get it so letting a cow out means it's not going to panic it'll stick with the cow and follow the cow so it'll be easier to get the calf back with a cow so that's why we've done that <laughs> Watching from the window. Big cow show going down. <laughs> it should come back. we go it's back in now oh dear oh dear little monkey oh, I cannot believe when we went to Bentham auction sale how many sheep dispersals there were so farmers saying you know they're packing in packing up retiring or selling up or whatever whatever there was a lot of dispersal sales which is really sad there was also loss of grazing because of these stupid trees. Sheep can't graze where trees are. So if they rent ground or rent land and the landowners decide to put it in a scheme for trees, tree planting, then can't have sheep there. So they're selling them because of loss of grazing. Oh, it's quite sad actually. It's quite sad, very sad. Good time here to get out because they're quite making a bit of money, but it's still sad. Too many sheep are going the wrong direction. Just got my sheep in here, and Oliver has a plan for them. Well, so do I, because they're my sheep, you see. Uh, we're gonna pick the best out of them, because there is a couple that are a lot smaller, a bit plainer. We want to breed, want to breed tups, you see, or try to. So we're going to pick the biggest and the best out of these that can join the best of the others. And the rest, I, the rest what we left here, I can put a texel on them and get some nice tidy store lambs for them for sale. So that's what we're doing now. So because they're new sheep to the farm, they're new, 
they have someone else's tag in. So we need to tag, we need to put Shaw Paddock tag in to make sure everybody knows that they're ours. And we need to mark them, our flock mark. That's what we need to do. And they need dipping. We're going to dip them. Just in case. I don't think they have been done. So we'll dip them as well. So we've only picked five out to breed up, so all the rest are not good enough. Left, left! Left! It's a big moment in my life. I've finally got some sheep again. Am I gonna steal them? You aren't. And he's popped the little blue pop on to join the rest of the blue pops that were picked out. Actually, actually, the ones that aren't going to the pew, I might actually put a Beltex on to them. Yeah. Oh, they're going to be good lambs. Look at the skins on these. Eh? I'm just showing my sheep. Because I'm very happy. It's been a long time since I've had some of my own sheep. How many? Three. I'll keep going. They are. Hell, they're going really great. And they're all shearings, which means they've not had lambs yet. The yows have just bought out a tail as well, because they're not tailed, so uh, we'll do that tomorrow. Peter's got the Rambo, so we'll do them tomorrow. I'm having to finish my video in Jim Bob's room. Um, I can't get five minutes to myself, so you won't be able to hear me if I do it downstairs. Right, I wanted to mention the winner who won Sam Shook Farming first ever free hat. There was a couple that were nearly enough, near enough bang on, but they put their guess on when my video went out and the other previous ones that guessed, they edited them. So I'm not going to include them. I'm not going to include them. I'm going to only include who put up a guess on that video on that day, unedited. So I do apologize if you genuinely did just edited the amount on that day, but I can't take the risk. So the winner of Sam Shook Farming free hat goes to Frank Fee. And he guessed, or she, Frank, he, 1,110. So you were two pound out. So that is, that is pretty much the closest one I can find unedited that commented on that video that night. So if you email me, I have my email address on there. Or if you've got social media, send me a message with your address and I'll get it posted to you as soon as I get them delivered. They are being made as we speak and I have a selection of things for other people to buy if you want them to buy. A few people have come up to me at Kirby Stephen Auction asking if the merch is out. And uh, I've made my website now. I just need to get my products, upload it up there, take some pictures and then we're good to go. So yeah, look out for that. Right, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you could like, share, subscribe, that'd be great. Subscribers are going up massively, so that is really good. It's really fun, and I'm so excited. Can I get to 10K for Christmas? Do you think I can? Right, that's my next goal, 10K for Christmas Day, before Christmas Day, that'd be brilliant. So um, yeah, thanks for that, it means a lot. Right, I will catch you for the next one. Bye.